so here we go in the Bank of America stage for now remains the man in goal although the arrival of Alisson may soon alter that Nathaniel Klein is at right back after all his injury problems last season and among side without the likes of Mane, Firmino and co following the World Cup for obvious reasons as they rest and prepare a new man in goal this season for Borussia Dortmund as well Marvin Hitz adding to the competition with Roman Burki also resting up after the World Cup but Hitz is a Christian Pulisic but a heavy emphasis on youth here by Lucien Favre their new manager Marius Fulf side from Eintracht Frank so even with the last strains of the Anfield anthem ringing out here Shaheen another of clubs close confidence once upon a time so he comes Shaheen again Liverpool know about him of course as well don't they and that's a tidy ball by him to Tolyan there's nothing wrong with the pullback except that Max Phillips was a lot of things here because there is a chance for young players because there is so many players missing from the World Cup senior players to put themselves in the shop window to manage to say listen I'm good enough to come and play and like I say here goes Philip. well that might have been a back pass Van Dijk was alert and happily that was the case done as well Camacho been a bit quiet so far steered into a very dangerous area Coolly done in the end by Tolian. Can short by Camacho. Robertson. Free header. Opening goal for Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> Liverpool lead in the 25th minute. So they've been taking a fair amount of pressure for a while, but really this is the first time they've threatened from a set piece. Robertson has so much room, Pat, doesn't he? And so too Van Dijk. Yeah, they switched off at the corner kick. Dortmund, nobody got out. Robertson loads of time on the ball. Van Dijk just ambles into the six-yard box. Free header, nobody near them. Good header, but straight past the goalkeeper. Good start for Liverpool. But a good ball again. Spoke about Robertson. Schmelzer couldn't... Well... He couldn't stop the cross coming in and somehow it eluded three or four others for Liverpool when it did come in. Liverpool looking menacing here. Steered just over the top by Milner. Ancient history now, of course, the game moves on so quickly, doesn't it? Liverpool looking the part here again, but Hitz doesn't have to make the save. Angle opened up a little bit for Sturridge. Naby Keita has made short, which he has. This is where the goal came from, of course. Different routine this time. Back to Milner. Hits couldn't get to it. And Liverpool so, so close to a second one. Guts arrived in the box. And Liverpool were a little bit slow to see that. Given away by Solanke. Suddenly Dortmund have come to life now. Pulisic looking for a penalty. And he's got one. Yeah, it's amazing football and Liverpool with all the chances 1-0 up coasting in the game and like I said in the first half it's the first time they've driven at the Liverpool defence Pulisic that time driving into the box and taken down for a penalty kick and the question here for me is whether Pulisic fancies taking it remembering that Mario Goetz had got one against Manchester City but Pulisic on to energise Dortmund it's just happened and he wants to double it up and give the American fans a big treat here by taking and scoring the penalty himself. He took it off Goetze, so he needs to score it. Yeah, he's back home, isn't he? He wants to put on a show. Chance for Cardius to show what he can do in the goal for Liverpool. This would be a sweet moment for Loris Karius. Pirasic beats him down the middle. Dortmund back on level terms, and I'm not sure I can explain how that has happened, but that's why we love football. Yeah, like I said, that's football, like you say. Liverpool created two or three good chances previous to that. Good headway made down that left for Dortmund. Marcel Schmelzer. It's a good cut back to Pulisic, and he's only gone and won it for Borussia Dortmund. Christian Pulisic, what an interception, what an intervention in the second half by probably... The USA's number one international... Six-yard box, pass it all the way through, into Pulisic. Good finish as well from just outside the penalty spot. Here we see ball crossed in from Smelzer. 
takes it out of his feet, and it's a good... First time by Schmelzer to Goetze. He's made his presence felt, hasn't he, Goetze? He may not have the legs, but the touch and the intelligence. And here's Pulisic on a hat-trick. And still, Karius can't keep it out. I'm afraid it is all over now for Liverpool. It's three for Borussia Dortmund. Huge part in it. And it's not a very good moment, I'm afraid, here again for Loris Karius. No, he's onside as well, checking for offside, but he's got to bash that away from the goal. If he doesn't hold on to it, it's got to get away. You know, Pulisic again, tormenting the Liverpool defence, gets around Mourinho, gets a shot on goal. Karius has got to do better than that. Get away from the goal, don't knock it back into the six-yard box. I'll tell you something else, Pat, if Larson doesn't knock the rebound in, I think it has to be a penalty. Yeah, he's all over him, like you say, he's... he's He's just reacted to, he's got both hands around him there, and he does well because he's pulling it back as he's striking it. 